From the first time I put my hands on a computer, I knew I was a gamer. Building the best gaming PC was always something that really interested me. And that's why today, my friends, we have this. This is the ROG Maximus XII Extreme. It's the gaming motherboard we have all been dreaming of, and it's already compatible with the Generation 10 10 Intel chipset. So let's open it up and see what we get inside. By the way, stick with me during the duration of this video for a quick preview of our next gadget review because I'm always reviewing gadgets here on RotorDeal. And if you don't know me by now, um, you might wanna click on that red subscribe button down below because what I do here on YouTube is I basically tell you about my gadget experiences. And I have a lot of these uh, really cool gadgets like as you can see now, the best gaming motherboard you can get for generation 10, 10 Intel um, chipsets. So first of all, the presentation here is really awesome. The first thing you're gonna see when you open this up is the motherboard itself. We already have the CPU slot over here, which is basically a casing. You don't really get anything. Um, as you can see, you don't get the CPU. This is gonna be very expensive. By the way, this is very expensive as it is. And uh, as you can see right now, we already have um, basically the box opened up because I'm also doing this review on multiple languages so please bear with me if I can't seem to get a hold of my English while I'm doing this review. So let's let's talk for a bit about this uh, motherboard. The Maximus XII Extreme is probably the best motherboard you can get for the 10th generation Intel CPUs right now. Built for water cooling, overclocking and performance, it also has a ton of RGB and built-in configurable OLED screen and illuminated audio jacks. I really like the fact that the audio jacks are illuminated. I've seen that already with other um, motherboards that Asus uh, basically releases. But the thing here with RGB is that you have this screen over here, which you can really configure with anything you want. This is gonna be really cool if you wanna put temperatures on it or something else. Uh, already, if you have, like I mentioned before, if you have the money to get this, first of all. Um, we're gonna talk about everything, but before we do that, I just wanna show you what's in the box because the, this is packed with stuff. I'm, you're getting, you're getting a lot of stuff here and you're also getting, oops, a Thunderbolt 3 expansion card. That was empty. Empty, it's empty, don't worry. Um, we get the manuals over here and we get these expansion cards basically. Um, there's also a USB over here, USB stick, I'm gonna talk about it in a moment, which will enable you to uh, flash back your BIOS if you want to do that. The first expansion card you're gonna see here is the uh, fan expansion card, basically letting you install more fans um, on, your obvious, on your build, obviously. And uh, it's gonna have two temperature controllers on it, uh, sensors on it. And also we're gonna see here that we have the Thunderbolt 3 um, expansion card, which is basically, Something that you're gonna be really happy with if you are a content, a content creator like I am. And you are basically paying for it, by the way, when you are buying this motherboard. So please make note that if you're not using this, you're gonna pay extra for this whole setup because basically uh, there needs to be a licensing when you uh, usually put this uh, card or expansion card uh, with a motherboard. And you know what? I'm happy because um, I'm doing these videos. Each of these videos usually takes around 100 gigabytes. I said gigabytes, this is 40 gigabits and I, I need 100 gigabytes for each of these videos, at least just for, just for storage and moving, the, and moving it back and forth for my NAS. So, bunch of cables as you can see and uh, the interesting part over here is that you even get uh, a pack of screwdrivers you can use, but you also get all the cables you'll need to basically uh, get this thing connected. You even get an extra small fan and uh, you even get an ROG strap. So yeah, you get a lot of stuff. And I think I saw the screwdriver somewhere here and it's a magnetic screwdriver also. So uh, uh, it's nice for masses to actually bring us that, here it is. It has the uh, ROG or Republic of Gamers labeling on it, so it's really nice. And uh, that's that's a nice addition. Also, as you can see here, we get the ROG uh, sticker, so we can put it on the computer itself if we really want to. And we also get on a Wi-Fi part of things, we get the Wi-Fi antennas. This is a Wi-Fi 6 antenna. 
um, which we'll talk about in a moment when we get to the motherboard itself. We also get an expansion slot for M.2s, uh, which will enable us to install two extra um, SSD drives uh, if we want to. So let's go back to the motherboard itself. This is where we're gonna have the Intel 10th generation CPU chipset. We also have four slots for DDR4 D memory uh, with Optimum 3. That means that we can overclock our memory sticks. So there are two M.2 sockets over here which you can install your M.2 M SSD drives and you can upgrade that with two more using the expansion, expansion slot. We have a dual GPU slot over here and on the IO side of things, as you can see, there is a billion <laughs> USB. Just kidding. There are six USB 3.2 generation one slot. There are three USB 3.2 generation two slots. And there's an extra USB 3.2 generation two USB C slot. Talking about LAN, we have one 2.5 gigabits per second port and a 10 gigabit LAN port. If networking is really important for you, you're gonna have AI networking on this motherboard. That basically means that you're gonna get less lag and better network connectivity using the AI that's built in on this motherboard. We also have two USB 2.0 ports. And the nice thing here is that you can see that we have a BIOS labeling on one of the USB ports and a BIOS button. Basically what that enables you to do is if you have the correct BIOS files, and that means that you're gonna use basically the USB that you get uh, with this motherboard and you put it in the BIOS USB slot and press that button, you'll be able to flash the BIOS firmware to the motherboard and you'll not have to use it while it has um, a CPU or memory sticks on it. You can do that just with power uh, because you have everything integrated. So that's really nice if flashing your BIOS is something that is important to you. You don't have to build the entire setup to do that. So I like that we have this option. In terms of sound, we have an optical SPDIF out over here and we have the sound IO ports, which are basically uh, LED illuminated. And we also get a lot of RGB lights on this device. Uh, sadly, I cannot turn everything on and connect everything on right now because I still have to get many more parts to get this thing connected. So it will take me some time to get it connected, but in the end, I promise you, when I have a fully featured gaming PC setup, I will share it on this channel. So please bear with me and you're more than invited to subscribe so you can see my future adventures uh, with this gaming, uh, with my gaming setup. So all in all, I really think this is, if you have the budget, this is probably the best you can do uh, when it comes to the new Intel chipset and building a gaming PC that's gonna have a lot of features. I really like the fact that we're getting AI in a lot of things right now. So we talked about the uh, bonus that I'm gonna show you during this video, and that's gonna be the newest from Tronsmart. I actually have reviewed most of Tronsmart's headphones and even Bluetooth speakers, and today I am with this, and this is their newest uh, Bluetooth, um, Bluetooth headphones, and they are, I have no idea how good they are, but they are over here. I'm gonna test them out and let you know uh, what's new in this uh, new Tronsmart Bluetooth headset or headphones. I think that Tronsmart is releasing headphones every month right now. I'm not kidding you. It's like at least in the last four months, I've seen a new set uh, every month. So stick with me if you wanna see a review of that. I really like Tronsmart, they have amazing products. So all in all, like I mentioned before, if you have the budget, this is probably the best motherboard you can get. I'm still saving up to get the CPU, obviously, like I mentioned, but all in all, once you get this thing connected, you're gonna probably wanna use it with water cooling as you have the water pump connections over here. I didn't go through all of the uh, onboard buttons, which you have many of these, as me, myself, I actually um, not, I don't use them that much. And I'm not a big expert in building PCs either, but I'm just telling you uh, my experiences with the products that I get so I can basically um, show you my full PC when it's gonna be ready. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, like always, press the like button if you did. Let me know if you have questions in the comments below and uh, you're more than invited to visit one of these two videos which are basically recommended. I personally chose them for you. 
and uh, this one over here and subscribe over here if you haven't done, done so already so I'll see you on my next review which I hopefully was, was uh, is going to be the Tron Smart uh, earphones. See you soon, thank you very much, bye bye.